I don't say that to make you sad. I say that just to bring a reality to you. First of all, Mariah, I think you've had a very easy thing to do. I mean, you're a Native American. I don't feel that you've committed. Hey guys, Jessica here. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to a photo shoot from America's Next Top Model where they make the girls do a photo shoot on a trampoline. I'm kind of getting flashbacks to when I used to be on trampolines. That, it never, I mean, it never ended well. That, even the net couldn't contain me. I'd end up being launched into the neighbor's yard. I'd end up on the floor. I'd end up on a stretcher. Never, not a lot of good memories on those. So I tend to avoid uh, anything that can launch me into space. So I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to achieve this photo shoot on the trampoline. So uh, let's take a look, shall we? Fun fact, the model from this season actually recommended it to me. Her name is Annalise Days. She made a reaction video to my reaction video of a, an episode from her season and yeah she's like oh you should check this episode out the trampoline one and i'm like okay so shout out to her she actually has her own youtube channel i'm gonna have a link down below good morning how are you guys did you guys see those baby trampolines why did i think it's gonna be a big ginormous like the size of the sun trampoline what did you guys think? Who thought that they're going to be like modest with this and be like, no, let's give them something doable. <laughs> okay, let's see the rest of this. But is the, is the rest of it modest? Let's see. Now, I know there's already been a little UK versus US rivalry going on. And for today's photo shoot, I'm actually going to pair one girl from the UK and one girl from the US. But you guys will be representing an iconic figure from your individual country. Plot twist, like all the girls have been getting along and then Mr. J's like, well, I see that you all hate each other. And they're like, wait, what? <laughs> it's the first episode. I can't see how there's any rivalry already. Like, have they even gotten to talk to each other? If I was on this season, you know I'm making friends with all the Brits. That's the first, those are the first people I'm going to. I'm like, hey, um, I watched this show. Have you seen it? I just got to say, as an American, I love my Brits. You know, I like British TV. I like British humor. Uh, so t to me, the rivalry, what could you, what could you guys be arguing about? Who has the best shows? They, have you, have you seen British reality TV? It's on another level. Now, you're not going to be posing for a traditional photographer today. You're actually going to be shooting with 60 cameras at the same time as we capture the image in 3D. Yeah. We're going to freeze you in the air. That's actually pretty cool. How much is that set up, though? If you have a pimple, oh, God. You, that 60, 60 cameras? I can't even work with one. They're like, we're actually not going to pay the photographers for this <laughs> episode. Actually, they use this at TSA. This is their exact setup. I see a pop-up flash. Is that a rebel? T3? T3i maybe? What? George Washington? Are they literally dressing her up as George Washington F on a trampoline? I don't think George Washington wants this. Two. One. I really like that shot. As Marie is edgy, I already picked the wig. Doesn't even like it. Doesn't even look like a good interpretation of it. You know, if you're going to do something like this, w w when you're bringing history into it, especially. I would expect a little bit more effort. I mean, you're talking about a show like America's Next Top Model. They, it's not like they don't have the money to get a proper wig, okay? Lace front, maybe. You know what I mean? What? Why? Why this lazy effort? But her downfall could be that she maybe she can't be feminine. Now this one I like. This one's cool. Ugh. Love the Spice Girls. I was the biggest Spice Girls fan when they broke up. I was crying. I was literally crying. It w my whole world changed. I'm not feeling the tension. Good. Feels better. People remember me just purely because of my personality, I think. You're going to remember me either way, even if you don't like me. That's not even easy because I feel like if 
because it's a smaller trampoline, you have like such little space to jump. Like one wrong move and you break your ankle. Looking at looking at this makeup look, I don't even know who she's going to be. <laughs> Let's find out. I'm so interested. I can't even guess, to be honest with you. The okay, if you're doing Madonna and Alton John, these outfits better be on point. Okay, let's see how these turned out. Now, who am I talking? Like, what? Are, why am I saying all this as if I'm a stylist? Like, I'm not a style expert. Look at her. Look at look at this. Ready? Yes. Here we go. In three, two, one. Yeah, actually, I agree with her. I'd be annoyed too. But I'm going to say her outfit looks pretty cool. And the Madonna look, it, it's nice. So, but yeah, I'm not loving like the wig on her. They like put her this this wig from like Party City. I don't like that. But I like this, the sparkliness of her outfit and the top and the pants. So I, I have to see like a better look of it. Was I happy about the situation? No. Uh, Alicia, it looks more thriller and a little less Elton John. Okay, I'm jumping and Jay's face is not pleased. Alicia, bring a bottle to the table. All right, thanks. They got they put her in this cheap looking wig that looks like they ordered it off Amazon Prime. They got it like the next day because they have a membership there. You know what I mean? It just very some of the the styling aspects are very lazy and there's no reason for it to be because i know they have a huge budget for this show the look though i like her blouse love her pants i think that's really cool i feel like they put more effort into the madonna outfit than the elton john outfit i'm glad that they're not putting them in shoes though but would i be surprised if they're like okay you're gonna wear five inch heels and you're gonna be on this mini trampoline like i wouldn't be surprised to be honest with you Spoofing Elton John as opposed to giving me a fashion interpretation of Elton. No, is she crying? For, well, what if you don't even know who Elton John is? You know, I don't leave my house, I don't know a lot of people. I mean, you could pick anything and be like, oh, give me a fashion interpretation of it. Oh, a squirrel. Oh, a bottle of water. I don't think it's like really fair to give them people to represent in a fashionable way like you would have to actually know the some parts of their life at least like a minimum like biography of the person to be able to interpret them in a fashionable way does that make sense like you have to know something about the person what, what, what did he actually say what did he actually that i look like too much of my character <laughs> you you i think you know you know what i would do no you don't know that the americans think we have an advantage whereas you know this is Big. This is America's next top model. Great, where are you a tiny little island, you know? And I think it's making it's making the Brits really crack them to the pressure. You don't know it's not good enough. You haven't seen it. Seen it. it. I love them. They are so supportive. They are so sweet. That's what I love to see. Models supporting other models. Even though it's a competition, I just think that's so amazing. I had a breakdown. I was like, wait, haven't you done a bunch of these before? And you're crying over trampoline. And then like the fact that everybody's consoling her. I'm like, don't console this bitch. Tell her to grow up. It's okay if somebody comforts another human being. Are you ready to go with this? Okay. Think of moving into something as opposed to presetting and jumping. My character is Margaret Thatcher. She was a powerful woman. She was in charge of a country, so I've got to be strong, elegant, powerful. I've got to pull up a really dodgy wig as well. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. She's so close to the other model with the gavel in her hand. Oh, God. Lord. Yeah, I'm not intimidated by Sophie. I think I'm gonna take it. I think I'm gonna win. Sophie, you are a beautiful human being. Oh my god, look how she's encouraging the model next to her, even though they're supposed to be competing against each other. I love that. I love that so much. Oh, I love her. I'm literally obsessed with Sophie. Simone wasn't doing that great. She looked a bit like a um a fly that got stuck on the windscreen. She was like going like Ooh. Okay, good. We're done. 
You guys are bringing my girl Amy Winehouse. I'm the biggest Amy Winehouse fan. I love her. I'm gonna be looking real close at this, this styling, this outfit. These look like, it's looking like Halloween costumes, to be honest with you. To me, I just wish that they would have spent a little bit more time on the actual styling. You know, Kyle, so if you're holding a camera, what do you think this looks like when we're at this point? Oh, from this way, got it. Yeah, exactly. I don't think the American girls did very good on their photo shoot. I was intimidated, but now I feel more confident after looking at them. They're giving the girl a guitar to pose with. That seems so hard. I am starting to feel, Louise, that you're getting a little reserved now. Oh, no, I'm going to... She looks cute, though. I like her look. I like the makeup, and I like the tattoos. Oh, I'm not bringing my energy up so the next person next to me feeds off of mine. No, I know what I'm doing. That's for her to figure out what she's doing. Last shot. You guys ready to do this? In three, two, one, jump. We can do better. Representing Native Americans, like who better than for me to get Pocahontas, but I'm Turns out that Maria is actually uh, Native American. So they had her portray Pocahontas. I would actually be super interested to know her thoughts on the outfit and the look that they gave her. This is John Lennon. I've watched a couple documentaries on the Beatles. I actually was like super fascinated by their history. So I like went on a binge and like watched a bunch of Beatles stuff. I'm by no means an expert, but I feel like they could have done a little bit more with the John Lennon look. But that's just, I mean, that's just me. Uh, the shirt is cool, but I just feel like it's not giving me like the Beatles vibe. But I'm not an expert by any means. What do you guys think? Does this look like John Lennon to you? Because she's Pocahontas, it's gonna be something hard to like live up to. I want to see you kind of interact in a fashion way. Jump! 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 In the photo shoot, Jazz Maya. I don't think she was very comfortable in what she was doing and she just didn't get a good shot. Like, I get the reason why it has to be small because they want to put the two models next to each other. So, but it's a, girl, it's a tiny little mini Barbie trampoline. You know, give her a break. She She's doing her best. I, I would be thinking, okay, I don't want to fall off of this and break my ankle. So you kind of, I feel like they would be thinking that as they're modeling, okay, I definitely don't want to fall off. So it's not only just about the posing, it's about, hey, I got to make sure I'm safe. You know, so far they've had some pretty interesting choices. You know, love Princess Diana, Jackie Kennedy, icons. So I'm, I'm really interested to see how this is going to turn out. Jackie Princess Diana. It, it's not that great. The styling just... <sighs> Out of all the like iconic looks from Princess Diana, Jackie Kennedy, this is, this is it. She's looking like homecoming queen. She loves me. She looks great. Ebony, Ebony, you can put her in anything and she'll look good. So I don't even, she still looks good. It's just not giving me like Jackie Kennedy vibes. I'm not a stylist. What am I trying to, you know what I mean? I'm not a stylist. Ashley, you're too timid. I'm just thinking too much. I'm just going to look at whatever. I had it all planned in my head. And then on the shoot, I didn't actually know what I was doing or what would look good or anything. And I'm really bad at thinking on the spot. Let's not forget, she's trying to model in a full-length gown. She's holding a clutch purse, and then, she, you know, she has, like, the, it, it's a strapless gown, okay? She has a crown on her head. She's on a trampoline. God bless her. She's doing she's doing the best that she can. Oh, my God, this is terrible. Stop thinking about Princess Diana and thinking about maybe what would look good as a fashion image. Stop thinking about Princess Diana. Think about somebody else. Did he just say stop thinking about Princess Diana as she's dressed up as Princess Diana? And you guys want her to fashionably interpret Princess Diana? I'm just saying, I'm just, no, I'm just making sure. I'm just, I don't know. This fine. It's okay. Okay. It's fine. Ashley, darling. This is a little messy. With Ashley today, it was a little disheartening because Ashley has potential and 
she just needs to believe in herself. I don't say that to make you sad. I say that just to bring a reality to you. Well, you don't have to be, but it's important just to engage and do you. That shoot just was terrible for me. And I'm expecting to go home, like I'm not looking for sympathy or people to be like, no, no, you were great. No, seriously, like, I was rubbish. I hate seeing models cry, especially over a photo shoot. If you get to the point in your photo shoot, if your model is crying because of the feedback that you're giving them or the lack of, then you need to evaluate what you're doing wrong as a creative director or even as the photographer. So let's see the final pictures at the judging. Alrighty, let's see your best shot. They have a cool photo. I think they both did a good job. Uh, her knees kind of being tucked in like that, I totally understand because she's wearing a long dress. So she probably needed to do that in order to like not fall and break all her bones. So yeah, I think given the circumstances, she did a good job. In what way do you feel that you look like Jackie Onassis in this picture? I feel like she was a fashion icon and I wanted to portray that through my body language. I like Ebony's picture, but your eyes aren't really forward and I'm trying to find something good to say, but it looks more like a BCBG ad campaign. I mean, Jackie Kennedy was aristocracy. And this is a little like, huh? I look at Ashley and I don't think Princess Di. Princess Diana was famous for tilting her head down and working her eyes to the left and the right. If you would have done that, it tells a story. Okay, that's Princess Diana, but then she's a model. You, your face and your dress was so elegant, but your positioning was so masculine that it kind of set everything off. I don't agree with anything they said. You, Miss Kelly is over there like, oh yeah, uh, what are, Jackie was so elegant. Yeah, but you put her in some Forever 21 clothing, you know, wet seal blazer, and you really, like, you're mad at her. Please don't, please don't be. Go talk to the stylist. Yeah, no, here is your best 3D capture shot. I appreciate the concept, how they're trying to make it interesting and creative, but the final photo is literally just somebody floating on a white backdrop. The model to the left, her legs are like completely covered by the dress, but can you literally blame them? How else are you supposed to jump, okay? The thing is, if you want them to do something crazy in the air, they can't because they have to land on a mini trampoline. So actually, you will probably see a lot of the girls jumping like this because they wanna keep their legs together when they land on the the little patch of a trampoline that they, they're given, so. There, there are so little poses that you can do, but I see that they're really trying their best. So it's hard for me to judge and be like, oh, they could have done this pose. Like, I know I could not have done any, I probably would have done way worse. <laughs> Catherine, who were you playing? I was Queen Elizabeth the first. And as Marie, you were? George Washington. Oh. oh. This is a good one. This one's cool. I don't know if that would be acceptable back in, uh, back in the day. I don't know if they would like that. But <laughs> if you're being historically accurate, why is George Washington wearing a skirt? This, this is a cool picture. I think she did a great job with her pose. I believe you. You're really there in the narrative. As Marie, I would have liked a little bit more, oomph, just a little bit more propelling yourself forward. Girl, how do you want her to do that? Do you want like a plane to drop her off? And oomph? <laughs> Mariah, you were playing. Pocahontas, and Jasmaya, Joe Lennon. I'm not really crazy about either. The best pose that I've seen, working with the guitar, the legs out, so good. The best one so far. I'm not really crazy about either of these shots. I have to tell you, I just think that the hair and the positioning, it's just, I don't necessarily see how the characters go together at all. Jasmaya, I wouldn't know what magazine to put this in or where to put this as a publicist. If I got this in my office, I'd say, what are we doing with this? I love how she's like, yeah, this concept, I can't believe this concept. And if somebody put this concept on my, girl, talk to the creative director and whoever came up with the concept. The girls are just there to model, just to pose. They didn't come up with it, Kelly. You're mad at the wrong person. <laughs> First of all, Mariah, I think you've had a very easy thing to do. I mean, you're a Native American. I don't feel that like you've committed. I just don't see the angst. I don't see any feeling. I don't see the passion. I just see you looking pretty. Did he just say it should have been easy for you because you're portraying Pocahontas and you're Native American? Did you forget the, the trampoline, ta Barbie size, that small? The 60 cameras, the Halloween, Halloween costume, 
do you agree with the statement? Should it have been easier for her because she's Native American and because she's Poca she's supposed to be Pocahontas? Like, do you agree with that statement? Discuss in the comments. Candace and Annalise. Here's your best really capture shot. Annalise, you literally look flawless. It's like you're posing. Uh, you're like laying down on a couch or something. I mean, that's, I don't even know how you did that. Great job. For this one especially, there's two people in the picture and they can only pick one photo. So someone's going to have a stronger pose in the end. Uh, definitely think for this one, it was Annalise. But you know, this is it's such a hard concept to do. So I definitely give the girls props for doing this. Annalise, there's too much anger in the face, all sort of aggression or angst. She looks very chill. She doesn't look angry at all or aggressive. So, I mean, I don't, she literally just looks norm, normal to me. Like she's just trying to get her picture taken. <laughs> and there is a natural bit of spice that I want to see in your eyes. If you're doing a great job as a model, you're going to get the person who's looking at these images to stay with you as long as possible. That's what an advertiser wants. That's what a brand wants. There's no face. There's no energy. So when I look at this, I just go like this. I Kelly, ugh, Kelly, 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 Kelly. You're gonna go like this? What is that supposed to mean? There's no face, Kelly? What are you, you're looking at a picture, aren't you? I don't see uh, Janet Jackson. Janet, back in the day, was very angry. Yeah, everything was like, was like that, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was cow. very angry. I, I don't know, I feel like you're riding a horse. Alrighty, so Sophie, you were? Uh, Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher, <laughs> and Simone, you were? I got Michelle Obama to portray. Alrighty, here is your best shot. That's my girl Sophie. Why did they pick this picture where her dress is flying up like that? You couldn't have found any any other photo. You know those TV shows where the the kids and the families are like jumping in the air like that's what the kind of vibes that it's giving me. Yes, I'm an American, but I love my Brits, okay? Why does it have to be the two the two in the bottom are British? Why? But I'll, whatever. I mean, I don't know. Most immediately Pack those bags and go back to Britain. So, the judges debated about both of your photos and found that you, Jasmaya, had someone, an icon, John Lennon, and you didn't even embody a smidgen of him. Well, neither did the stylist. I'm just saying, did you see that? Did you see his outfit? It could have been better. That's, just, I mean, whatever. What do I know? What do I know? And you, Ashley, Princess Diana. We wanted to see that lovely, amazing woman. The woman with the amazing eyes. Two icons, but not iconic photos. <laughs> I literally can't. I can't. I can't with these one-liners. Two iconic women, but not iconic photos. Tyra's like, I needed to see Princess Diana. And I'm over here like... Are you gonna say anything? Are you gonna tell her that she's she's not Princess Diana? Yeah, they they put her in a yeah, Party City. They got it from Party City. Yeah, the crown. It's from Amazon. The crown's from Amazon. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything, cause I got fired last time. Yeah, but they brought me back because they fired it. Yeah, it's fine. So who stays in this competition? So who's going so who's going home? Princess Diana or John Lennon? Let's find out. You stay in America, Ashley. <laughs> your name was called? Not because your picture was better than Jasmiah's, it wasn't. But you have a light and an energy and a personality that when you spoke up here, the judges liked you. Love how Tyra always has to sneak in a, well, your picture wasn't good. That's not why you're here. We actually roasted it when you were backstage um, and we were deciding, we were deliberating who to keep and we roasted you for like 20 minutes, girl. It was hilarious. Wish you were here. <laughs> but it wasn't because your picture, yeah, so the picture was terrible. But you, you seem cool, so we decided to just keep you. If I had a trampoline, I would have jumped out of that competition, okay? No net, nothing. I would have popped out of the net. And it would have been ripped and everything. They'd have to come get somebody to come fix it up. I'd probably end up paying for it, but I would have left. So it would have been worth it to me. I don't know why I said that. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>